Hey YouTubers, it is Gizzy Greenfingers here and this is my Fuji Cherry aka Kojo no Me. and I've had this two years I bought it from a nursery and all I've done with it is just I repotted it but today she be getting a major prune major branch prune because I'm not liking it as it is and I want to do something really drastic and reduce it by 50% now the date is the 28th of October I live in England and no idea if this is the right time to prune it I am an amateur, but I like, I might experiment and see what happens, but I'm not thick, with a capital F, I'm not thick, but I do know by reducing this tree by 50%, I am sacrificing all these beautiful blossoms come next March, April, and I've got two cherry blossoms. Cogena maize and this this one of the two is the blossoms are more beautiful than the other one that I'm styling but you've got to do what you've got to do and if that means no cherry blossoms for next year then so be it it's, it needs reducing it's getting reduced end of should survive I'd, I'd say it would survive, all the leaves have come off now. Um, not done it really mid-winter or anything, but all the leaves have come off, so there you go. We'll see how it gets on. We'll see how I get on with pruning. And again, when it comes to pruning this Koja Name, I haven't a Scooby-Doo. No, not a clue. I'm just doing what sort of looks right, I guess. But when you're bonsaiing, there's no right or wrong way to bonsai. That's what I keep telling myself. That is what I keep telling myself. Now, I've done a few, a few trees and I've done some wacky things like prune it at the wrong time, root prune and all sorts. And some have died. But some have flourished. So it just all depends on the tree and the circumstances and its environment, I guess. But obviously there are no-nos that you should never do and I like I like experimenting and trying them and seeing if it work. Now coach and maze grow quite slowly to be honest I've had this near on two year and it hasn't it's it's got a little bit longer in the branches but it hasn't grown a lot I've not seen much growth in this in two years to be fair but I suppose if you look at it nearly every day you're not really going to notice how much it does grow but we're getting there, we're getting there. She is getting reduced. <clears throat> and what I want to do, I've got I've got a branch in that centre and hopefully by doing this, it will encourage that branch in the centre to thicken up because I want that to be the main, the main sort of trunk branch going up. But who knows, I, who knows, I'm, I'm winging it. I am just winging at the moment. All I want to do is just sort of compact this in a bit. Now, when you're cutting this, you've got your nodes coming out, left or right, or whatever. And depending where you cut, well, that depends where your next shoot will come out from.
Now, I've seen a few people reduce their cogen amounts by quite a lot and just left one single branch. So, the reduction of all this by 50%, so I'm not, I'm not worried that it'll kill it in any way, shape, or form. But it ain't gonna look that pretty come, come spring. Cause it won't have many, that many blossom buds on it. But like I said, you've got to sacrifice because in years to come, it will be a beautiful, beautiful thing. That's right. It look, it did look really beautiful this this spring. Just gone, to be honest. It's got a lovely pinky ready blossom with white hints in it. It's, it is an eye catcher. I don't I, th I don't know if I've done a YouTube video of it when it was in blossom. I think I did. Yes, yes, on my channel, Gizzy Green Fingers. There, there's a video of this cherry blossom in blossom, and it is a spectacular thing to see. So if you do get time, then check out my other videos. You might learn something. Oh, you, no, you won't learn anything. You, you won't learn anything. Not on. Coaching the May because I am winging it. But I've kept it alive for two years. This year may be the, the year where we see if it stays alive, but it should do okay. It should do. Now, I've seen other YouTubers with Coaching the May and they, they go to garden centres and all sorts, and they have these really big. You, big Fuji cherries that they've got for a tuppence, 20, 30 quid, $20, $30. And I'm like, God, why, why can't I find anything like that? This, this cost me 50 quid off eBay. Yeah, it's all me coming. So I hope it doesn't die because it cost me a lot of money. For how small it was, do you know what I mean? But I guess if you go out and about, you can rummage about and you can find find a steel maybe in the, in the reduced, reduced basket or whatever. But yeah, that's starting to take shape, I think. I'm not, I'm not too disimpressed about that actually. There's still work to be done, but. We're getting there. What do you think? I'd love your opinion. I'd just a thumbs up in the comment section. That'd be great. Or I'm open to to comments, bad comments, good comments. Just any comment would be nice. Tell me what you think. Tell me if this is going to live or die, or if it's going to thrive. Because I don't know. I don't know. So that's that main trunk I was on about, that main branch that I want to thicken up. And um, hopefully now I've reduced this a lot, that can start to get more light and thicken up how I want it. But if you have enjoyed this video and learned something, or not learned something, <clears throat> then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Gizzy Green Fingers. Ta-da.